good morning or should I say good afternoon it's five minutes after noon <laughs> and I'm just getting out here I slept into about 11 o'clock my body shut down and I was out and I feel like I could still use more sleep uh, build day 17 and before we get to build day 17 we're going to do breakfast of the day and it's not build day 17 it's build day 18 I caught myself at least I think it's build day 18 but uh, breakfast of the day tall, you're going to have exactly what I had this morning a tall glass of milk and four chocolate covered caramel cookies I've been picking up some uh, made by uh, Little Debbie's. I don't know if you guys have lo Little Debbie's in your area. But, oh, man, those things are, are great. <laughs> I like those. And I'm over here doing my plug-in. That's my light cord and power tool cord. And this one here does the blow-ups. If I can get it plugged in. There we go. That means I gotta go out and fix the ghost. But I wanted to show you this. I tried to fit a video it last night. But it was a little dark. Footage really didn't come out too well. And I was too damn tired to be messing with uh, editing to brighten it up. But we got the roof on. Uh, I think I am gonna go ahead and add a small piece to go from the curtain bar to here to get that covered then we get in here and I need to add a screw to this to bring it down and I need to put a patch in here and then other than that I need one big piece to run from here down to here and I think what I'm just going to do, it's a three foot width. I'll just cut an eight foot piece. And if it sticks out and over, that's fine. The walls will support it. And if it sticks out, it's only going to be a foot. So it shouldn't droop and hurt anybody. But anyway, I got to do that. But before I can do that, I need to get plywood. I need to get two by fours. And I need to get two by twos. So I got Kaylee out here. She's ready to help move the truck. And we're going to head down to Home, Home Depot. Swan's going to come with me. We're going to go down and get my lumber needs taken care of. And then we'll get home, we'll get this finished. This is first on the job. Then, we're gonna be over here in the mausoleum cemetery area. And as you can see, it's a disaster area. Gotta get in here and get this set up and working. I gotta get the rocks out of the goddamn garden. I'll figure out some way of getting them out of my way. We normally hide them in around the bush or over my cutout, and we didn't move them this year. Oh, well. But anyway, finishing off the photo hall and uh, doing the cemetery around the docket for today. And I think if we still have time left, once the cemetery is done, we are going to move over to the pirate and start getting the pirates set up. And I've got to make some adjustments to my netting. It's this stuff, I, I, after you've hang it for a while, it starts drooping. And I got to come over, oh, sorry Kaylee, I stepped on you. I got to come over here, loosen my screws and suck the net over and then redo the screws. That'll tighten it up a little bit. So, anyway, time to get going guys. Let's see what we can actually get done today because I'm staggering around, still half asleep. Well, getting a late start out here means I didn't get as far as I planned to. Uh, been working on the graveyard and I've got light bo first light box up there. I need to figure out what to put in that corner. I'm thinking my wood coffin that I made might go there. All I know is I cannot block this panel take that screw out this panel comes off and that's my access for behind uh, behind the video pumping station so I can turn on the projector and fill the fogger over there uh, and I'll deal with that after dinner which two end just called another light box there I put Will's crypt there 
and then we got all the stuff and even got the screen hung and mounted and we tested it last night I put the base in that stake with a the crossbar there right behind the foam head that's the uh, to hold the projector box we tested it last night the projection from there should fill that whole screen or damn near it which is what I want so when people come around the corner we'll have that going and then we got the other tombstones and I put another uh, light box back there now I had two wood coffins two of these guys one with a cross on and this guy with a skull and crossbones uh, I got from Mike Allen And we got that set up, and we've had it that way uh, for ages. The other one, I put over here. You notice it's up off the ground? I mounted it to my door. <laughs> so, it's just kind of sitting there, and we're going to find something to attach to the top of it. You know, as a decoration, a vase of flowers or something. Uh, one thing I am missing is we have a candelabra that we hang up in here. I think it's in either the whip, one of the whips, whips witches boxes or the gypsies box or you know one of their tubs so when I find it I'll bring it over and put it in uh, up here I inserted my other piece of ply so that filled that in and I know it's going dark and you got a little ray of light there's my filler piece there I was supposed to put a piece on there Side the hell with it. The tree will protect the f photos for the most part. But uh, it's dark over here. And then we got this last piece of plywood in. Which isn't too bad. And then they're out into the spider. But it's a little dark. And if I have the energy tonight, I'll try to brighten that segment so you can see things a little bit better. Yeah, <laughs> it's dark in here. I know Sue Ann and I were talking, you know, we should have painted all that first, but, you know, painted it black and then installed it, but I had no idea, I was just doing piece by piece going up there, and I had no idea what was going to go where, but anyway, I'm going to get some dinner, after dinner, we're going to get back out here, I got to get that spot filled, and then we're going to hop over to the pirate and start messing around in the pirate there's no way in hell I'm gonna get the pirate done tonight that much I know that display is very involved with everything but I can get in here get the bar put together get the ship's wheel put together and get some of the bigger pieces in this display kind of place and then just kind of go from there and some of that some of the pirate stuff that we hang on the walls is gonna spill out into this area here are the exits so tomorrow our main focus will be the pirate getting the pirate done then I might hop over and do the gypsy tomorrow too I don't know I haven't decided it's gonna I have to wait and see how I feel and what time I get up tomorrow all I know is it felt good to sleep in anyway off to dinner it's 9 30 time to call it quits but we've been working out here on the pirate display. We got the ship's wheel uh, put together. We got the bar seam put together. And got that done. And I spent some time out here messing with the ammo box, my pneumatic skeleton, and the chest. And I couldn't figure out how I had them in about eight or nine different positions. Finally, I had the set dresser come out. So Ian was out here. And we went through another four or five different variations before we finally decided on this. We're going to do the ammo box with the swords there. We're thinking with a skeleton standing behind it holding a sword. And then we got a skeleton that goes on the ship's wheel. We're going to put a third one maybe there in that corner doing something. We don't know what yet. And then we have the two at the bar that we normally do. Now the oars, yeah, the light there, but the oars are going to go over in the exit hall. I'll hang those tomorrow. I'm not too worried about it. And the treasure chest this year, normally we have it wide open. This year, we're only going to have it open about that far. 
Uh, I don't know if that's showing up, but you know, not, it's not going to be wide open. It's only going to be a little bit of a gap. And I want to talk about that there, that picture. That was a gift from a fellow haunter, Jen, from Jen's Haunt Smith. She's down in California, I do believe. An old chat buddy drew that and sent that to me. Uh, if you want to see a really neat display, look up Jen's Haunt Smith on YouTube. She does a killer display. But, uh, anyway, here's the basics for the pirate. Now, I've got two or three tubs of pirate stuff in the spare bedroom. I got to bring out tomorrow, and we're going to get in here, and we'll get my end of it nailed down. So, see we can get out here and get her end it nailed down. She's got all sorts of stuff to do. <laughs> but, uh... She's, uh, I know tomorrow she's going to be out here uh, hopefully finishing up the painting. She's going around getting all the black on the fence posts and stuff painted. She got most of it done today, but hey, it takes a while. But she's got uh, that to do. Uh, she's going to have the pirate display to go through and do. Uh, she's got the spider display to get started on. And if I can ever get the Gypsy and the Witch done, she has those displays to come in and do. So, anyway, I'm going to get things packed up, put away, and shut down. Stay tuned for your end of the day wrap up. Okay, compadres, end of the day wrap up. Time to call it quits and button it down and get some editing done so I can get some sleep and not sleep in hopefully tomorrow. Uh, today we buttoned up the uh, photo hallway. I got the last of my plywood up except for one little chunk and I decided to leave that open. Uh, we got the cemetery done and the mausoleum and then we got started over in the pirate. Due to the fact that I slept into almost noon, it was around 11 o'clock when I got up, and afternoon, by the time I got out here, uh, we didn't get as, quite as much accomplished. That and I had to run down to Home Depot to pick up lumber and haunt supplies, so I guess that was haunt related, but I still took time away from the build. We didn't get as far as we wanted. I was hoping to at least be into the tubs over in the pirate area. You know, with just a little bit of fine tuning to do tomorrow and then move on to other things. Didn't happen. Got the basic big stuff put together. Haven't brought the tubs out. On the docket, you guessed it, for tomorrow. Uh, as of t for tomorrow, we got to get the pirate area finished. So Ann's going to be out here doing some painting as well, and we'll probably uh, be messing around over in the Pirate, too, if she fills up to it. And that's after we do a grocery run. Thursday, Thursday, Fridays are our grocery days, usually. We, we got our grocery run to do first thing in the morning, then we're going to be working on the Pirate, uh, getting that finished, and then I think we're going to get started on the Gypsy. I have no idea if we'll get the Gypsy finished tomorrow. I would love to get both the Pirate and the Gypsy finished tomorrow, but both displays are very high detailed on my end, and then even further high, highly detailed on Sue Ann's end. There's a lot of work to do. Uh, I think that's pretty much about it. Past that, I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to go and edit. And I'm going to bed. I'm still tired. I haven't woken up yet. <laughs> so, uh, stay spooky. Stay dark.